question. The member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Today, the FAO released its report on housing and homeless programs in Ontario. The FAO concludes that the province will likely not reach the 2025 goal of ending chronic homelessness. Nobody should go without a roof over their head or a warm place to keep them safe, especially during times of COVID. Unfortunately, there is a significant gap between such ideals and the harsh reality faced by too many Ontarians today. The FAO estimates that 16,000 Ontarians are homeless on any given night, of which between 40 and 60 percent are experiencing chronic homelessness. But we really don't know because this government stopped the count in 2018. Over the past year, the pandemic has put 355,000 Ontarians out of work, the largest decline on record. The eviction moratoriums has, have expired or are just about to expire at the end of this month. Speaker, will this government commit to recommit Shin? to reaching their goal of ending homelessness by 2025 and providing the funding to do it? And will you restart the count so we know how many people are sleeping on our streets? Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Thanks, uh, thanks, Speaker. Uh, first of all, uh, Speaker, uh, I want to thank uh, the Financial Accountability Officer for his uh, work. Uh, our government takes this file very seriously. After years of inaction uh, through you to this member and her previous government, we were saddled uh, with a situation where we had to act. The previous government had a lot of platitudes, but they did not have a plan. And since being elected in June of 2018, we have made this a top priority for our government. Uh, Speaker, I haven't had the chance to ask through you to this member if she will join us. However, it's been clear under the National Housing Strategy that we are being shortchanged by the federal government by some $490 million. I've written to uh, the federal minister uh, about that issue. I know Ontario's 444 municipalities Spons. support me on that ask, and I would uh, like to make sure through you, Speaker, that this member support us in asking for Ontario's fair share. And the supplementary question. Speaker, housing advocates expect the province to play its role in leadership when it comes to housing and homelessness in this province. And there is much work for you to do. From 2019 to 20 to 2027 to 2028, annual spending on the province's housing programs will average $696 million. This is significantly lower than the average annual spending between 2014 to 15 and 2018 to 19 at 856 million dollars. So the investments are going in the wrong direction, Speaker. Only half of the 55,300 additional households that will receive support under the province's housing program in 2027-28 are expected to be removed from the core housing need. The FAO estimates that by 2025, there will be still an estimated 159,800 high housing need households, those who are paying more than 50 percent of income on housing. Speaker, will the minister reverse his cuts to housing programs and restore the funding to at least 2019 levels in Thank you. Thank you. Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Through, through you to the honourable member, you know, she needs to get her numbers straight. Um, you know, it was clear in the Financial Accountability Officer's report that it acknowledged that some of the federal programs, the cost-shared programs with the province, were decreasing over time where other new programs were starting, and then the, the trends would then um, increase upwardly. But I, I want to go back to uh, you know, a statement that the, min that the member made uh, regarding the homelessness counts. The speaker uh, the Liberals made a commitment to end homelessness by 2025. The one thing they forgot, they didn't have a plan to do that. You know, this year we will be implementing a by name list across the province, which is more effective than the previous haphazard methods that the previous government put forward. We are going to move forward with the by name count this year, but don't take my word for it, Speaker. Response. Contact the Canadian Alliance to End Homelessness. They have worked with many of Ontario's municipalities, many municipalities of members opposite, and realize that the by name list is the only way we're going to be able to fight homelessness. Thank you very much. 